Hi guys, it's me, Keller McCassie, and today we're doing my BoxyCharm try-on unboxing for March of 2018. Hi guys, so I'm wearing a unicorn headband today. I just wanted to address that right away. They are available at Ulta, and I'll try to find it and link it down below. But I think I look pretty darn cute right now. I like it. I like it a lot. If you guys don't know me, hi, my name is Cassie. It's nice to meet you. And I would love for you to become friends with me on the internet. And how you can do that is by subscribing. And that just means you scroll down, hit the red subscribe button. That's it. That's all it is. And then you get notified when I make new videos. So let's jump right into this boxy charm and see what's inside. Vacation is the theme. The first thing I'm seeing is this pretty vulgar... What are you? Are you a blush? How do I open? There it is. Oh, I just messed it up. Shoot. I was trying to open it and I gouged some out with my fingernail. Cassie. Disappointing. Come on. But this looks like a blush. I love the packaging. I think the packaging is super cute. This pretty vulgar blush runs for $26. So that's already covering the cost of the box. So I think we're doing pretty well so far. Let's go ahead and put some on my cheeks. It's kicking up a, quite a bit of dust. So I would say be careful with this because you might accidentally put on too much. There's so much product on my brush right now. So, so far I feel like it's pretty dark and pretty pigmented. So just be aware of that when you're using this. Just be very light with your brush because a lot of color does come off on your cheeks and typically that would be a little bit too much color for me. So we're gonna just try to do a little bit less on the other side. So you can definitely put it on a little bit lighter if you are careful, more careful than I was with this when I was putting it on. But I definitely like the color. It is giving me a nice blush look. I think other than the fact that you have to really watch how much you're using, I really do like this blush. I feel like you can definitely make it work and it is a very, very pretty color, so. The next thing I'm seeing in here, oh shoot, I already put my concealer and stuff on. It's a South Main 3 Eye Gel Pack. So it's under eye gel things. And there are three in here. I did already put on my under eye concealer. So uh, I don't think I can use these today. But I really do like under eye gel mask things. They really help mitigate kind of those fine lines and wrinkles underneath your eyes and reduce puffiness underneath your eyes. And I really do like that there's three of these. That makes it a pretty good value because you do get three uses. These South Main eye gels run for $10. So now we're up to $36 total. And I feel like we're doing really well for the value of this month's box. And I will use these in another video, maybe if I'm doing a face mask live stream or something like that. Stay tuned, stay tuned. I will use those for sure. So the next thing I'm seeing in here is this Vintage Cosmetic Company Smoky Brush Set. So it looks like we get a set of three brushes. I always love getting makeup brushes in my subscription boxes. I just feel like they really make the box a really good value. So these are the three brushes. They look like they're natural hair bristle brushes and all three of the handles are kind of this creamy nude shade, which I think is very pretty. I don't have any brushes that look like this, so I'm very excited to get to use these. This, the Vintage Cosmetic Company Smoky Eye Makeup Brush Set, runs for $23.15. So we over double covered the cost of the box. We're running at a value of about $59 with these three things in the box so far. So I'm gonna use these in just a second because the next thing I see looks like an eyeshadow palette, which I am so excited about. I feel like this month is crazy good value so far, right? I mean, we've got a full-size blush that's an expensive blush. We got three full-size eyeshadow brushes and now it's an eyeshadow palette. So this looks like it's a BoxyCharm and Pure Cosmetics collaboration, which is really fun. I have liked a lot of the Pure Cosmetics products that I've gotten in the past. Oh, there's stickers on the side. They just don't want me to get these open, do they? Yep, um, where'd my scissors go? I don't know where my scissors went. Oh, they're on both sides. Why would you sticker both sides? So now I should be able to open it, and it opened. It has some very pretty shades. I'm liking it. We've got some bright colors, and it says this eyeshadow palette has an MSRP of $36. So that puts us at 50, 60, 70, 80, 80, 90, $95. Holy cow, you guys, this is a $20 box and we're up to $95. That's nuts, we're not even done yet. Okay, so let's, 
Let's use this palette, test it out a bit. So I'm gonna take this color bell right there and just use that as my transition shade in the crease. I'm getting a lot of pigmentation out of this, so so far I'm liking it a lot. And I'm just bringing this a little bit on the outer edge of my eye as well. I feel like that is a really cute color and it blended really, really well. I'm going to take this color BFF and blend that really precisely a little bit lower in the crease. This is also very pigmented. So far I'm really liking how these are blending out. And I'm going to take whatever is left on that blending brush and just kind of blend out the edges of that darker pink. Now I'm going to use this brush and dip into this blue and do a little bit of a cut crease kind of look. Not like a full out cut crease, but I'm just going to take the blue right up against that pink. This color is not as pigmented as I was expecting, but I'm still liking it. So I feel like this is not very shimmery. It's more like glittery than anything else. And just to deepen up the corner, the outer corner a little bit, I'm gonna take this deeper purple shimmer shade and put that right on the outer corner. So far, they're kind of blending together differently than I would expect right in the center here. They kind of look brown when they should look purple. Blue plus a purple should look still purple. So I'm a little confused by that, but in general, I'm still enjoying the look. I think it looks pretty good. And then I think I'm going to take this smallest brush and go into the shade Charmer, which is this rose gold shade, and apply that on my lower lash line. I think it'll look really pretty down there. That shade is falling out quite a bit underneath there, so I'm just going to try to dust it away a little bit. And I'm going to add a little bit of that transition shade I used earlier, which is Bell, right there, right underneath the little lash line. So, so far, I am really enjoying this palette. I feel like it's got some really good shades in it. Uh, some of the glittery shades feel like maybe they're not the best formulation I've ever used, but definitely workable, something I'll enjoy, and I really like the color selection in here. I'm definitely excited about that. And the last thing I have in here is this Butter London Double Decker Lashes Mascara. It says that the MSRP of this mascara is $20, so that's putting us at $115 total, and that is a great value for this month's box. I'm very excited about that. I think that's awesome, and yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I think it's good. I think it's good. So this is what the tube looks like. It's pretty big and chunky. I'm going to use it without a lash curler just to see what it does on its own. So, so far I really like the formulation of that mascara. I feel like it had kind of a thicker, jellier texture to the mascara and I feel like it pulled my lashes up a little bit. They are pretty straight, so anything that lifts my lashes, I'm really gonna like. And I feel like it coated them pretty evenly. It didn't get super chunky or anything. I feel like it did its job well, so I'm definitely excited to get to use this more, and I'm happy it's in the box. So guys, that was everything in my boxy charm. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did like this unboxing, then you might like some other ones in my videos. See what I got in my Ipsy My Birch Box for March over here, and you can also watch another video of mine over here. That's pretty much it. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Bye!